All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing our second video for the optimal charge weight versus 10 round ladder test, doing our second potential charge weights from the first video. It's like five degrees outside. It's very cold. So if I'm having a hard time talking and it sounds weird, I'm not having a stroke. So we're going to be doing 38.7 and 38.9 for one set, 39.6 and 39.8 for the other. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up 38.7 grains. Two thousand six hundred twenty-six. Two thousand six hundred thirty-nine. Two thousand six hundred thirty-five. That group doesn't look good. All right, up next is going to be thirty-eight point nine grains. Two thousand six hundred forty-three. Two thousand six hundred forty-four. Two thousand six hundred fifty-six. All right, next up is going to be thirty-nine point six grains. 2,704. 2,722. 2,715. 2,706. All right, next up is going to be 39.8 grains. 2,742. 2,725. 2,715. Uh, I think that's the group. All right, let's go ahead and head in and see what our results are and see uh, what we're gonna use for our seating depth test for the next video. All right, guys, we are back and taking a look at our results. And it looks like our smallest group of the day is the 39.8 grains at 0.363 inches. The standard deviation is 12 at an average velocity of 2720 and an extreme spread of 37, which is the highest extreme spread and standard deviation of the day. The smallest were the 38.7 and 38.9. Both have a standard deviation of five and an extreme spread of 16 and 13, but the velocities are quite a bit lower than I'd like. I know that I could go up to, I believe someone said in the comments that like 41 and a half grains or, or somewhere near there is really kind of the sweet spot. I didn't want to redo this entire test to, to go up that high. So we are just sticking with the charge weights that we have for now. Eventually I will go up and do some testing higher up velocity wise, but I didn't want to waste a bunch of ammo redoing everything. So we're just going to use the results that we have from the first video. Really, the, the two options are going to be 39.6 and 39.8. While I do like the standard deviation of the 39.6, which is 7, and the velocity is only 10 feet per second off for the, the average at 27.10, I really don't like the fact that there's quite a bit of diagonal stringing. So I think we're going to go with 39.8. The shape of the group is a lot rounder. Standard deviation being 12 isn't great, but it's not the worst that I've had in my testing. And and the original optimal charge weights from the first video were the 39.7 and 38.8. 
The group size for 39.7 is 0.489. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with 39.8 for the charge weight that we're gonna then shoot a seating depth test. So that's gonna be the third video for the optimal charge weight side of the series. And then um, in the next three part series, or I guess the three videos of the six part series is gonna be the 10 round ladder test. That is gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.